about that problem. So you can program Swift on this. So yeah, if you go into this, you can't see this down. All right. So here we are on the iPad. Um, all you want to do is you just go into the Swift like you do, is you just go into the blank uh, in there, and then just go into the new playground, and then you'll pop up. Uh, it'll be blank for you. This is just an example I have that you'll see being programmed uh, now. Uh, yeah, so as you just saw, the uh, kind of the programming montages um, there that were done on the iPad. Um, yeah, just you can do a lot of like really cool stuff um, with Swift in Playgrounds on the iPad. Um, and again, you can do most things like as you would in Xcode, like if you were going to make an algorithm or you were going to test out a class implementation or a new struct or data structures or anything like that. Um, the iPad will work really well because it, it runs right on the iPad quickly too. And you don't have to set up a new Xcode uh, Playground on your computer. Um, this is, seems to be a lot faster. Um, yeah, it just works well. Um, so yeah, if you need to take it to class, uh, you can have your books, notes, uh, the Swift uh, Playground open uh, all at one time. Um, yeah, so I've kind of found that um, I can open a Playgrounds app, and let's say I can open the Apple documentation as well, or uh, like an article on Medium or like a YouTube video pulled up um, in like the multitasking view. Um, that actually works really well and it's a good way to take notes as well and it's really helpful to learn. Um, so that's kind of how I've been using the, the Playgrounds app on my iPad Pro so far. Um, it's very helpful, very fast. Uh, it's just a lot more convenient too. Um, and me being in college as well, um, it's very convenient to take it to class with me because everything is on here. Um, it's all my books, notes, and now my like kind of coding environment that I can use um, in class to test something that we may be learning. Um, so that's really nice and very helpful too. So I hope the video was kind of informative of how um, you know, practical use and how it can be used.